For FP Radio, this is Kelly Nicoletti from the 19th edition of Rome Film Fest. I'm with uh, Golship Tefarani and Mina Cavani, actresses in Reading Lolita in Tehran. First of all, I was telling uh, the director and Nafisi that uh, that was a feeling that he hit me uh, while watching the film. It was that even if in some of the cases of these women or the professor, their private life was okay in terms of I don't know, the relationship, their kids, uh, the husband. It was impossible at a certain moment to, to live knowing that there was no freedom at all. I mean, and this is something that hit me. It should be obvious, but it wasn't, maybe. So I wanted to know how it was to, to, to develop this feeling into this film. And how was it for you? I think it's the same feeling, the reason that uh, we all left because, um, well, some people like myself, they had to leave because they had like uh, some kind of survival problems, well, like jail and all that stuff. Um, but at one point you ask yourself, my dignity, my dignity is more important than anything else, and that what what happens to Azar, the professor, that she cannot take it anymore because her dignity is being smashed constantly. And uh, what is a human being without dignity? And if you choose something over your dignity, you're you're selling your soul. So then you're going to be a human without your soul. So at one point you have to choose and say. I choose my dignity, and even though I'm gonna have to face exile, I'm gonna have to face so many things, I would rather die than to sell my soul and live without dignity. So this is the case of so many people in Iran, in prison, uh, the ones that are not wearing their veil because they want to choose their dignity. And I think uh, um, that's what happened to the professor, that's what happened to me. To, it's the reason of our exile because we <coughs> we chose our dignity somehow. Mm -hmm. I'm not saying that the people that are still there are not choosing their dignity. They are facing that problem in a different way, mm -hmm. where for us, I think it was impossible to live that anymore. Mm -hmm. Do you want to add? No, I think it's she almost said everything is is uh, is, it, and I would just say that is exactly what. All of us, we, we live that, as she said, is that we, we um, of course, it's, it's terrible for all of us to, to, to leave our country, to being part of and um, far from our parents, our uh, house, everything. But, uh, but in a, you, what happened in your life or in your mind when you arrive on a point that you decide, decide to, 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 to choosing freedom? Even though you're gonna lose so many things, what happened exactly uh, on you? And I think this is the moment that all of us will live that. So it was very, very strong and powerful. Uh, it is, it is what happened in the books, and it is what happened in our real life. So, how important was for you to be part of of this project that is very international as well? Oh. I would love to start because for me it was particularly important than Gold Shifter, I think, <laughs> because, because uh, first of all, um, uh, first of all, to playing with her, this is next to her, uh, because she's uh, she's the first actress, Iranian actress, who left country and 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 said, I'm sorry, I don't have any other word, fuck to the Republic Islamic and. She she followed her road, and then we followed her, and we 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 are in the same situation. So for me, to playing with her was very very symbolic, strong, and and important. And uh, secondly, I think that the fact that all of us, all these actresses, we were together um, with all these different journey, with all these different road uh, for playing in a movie uh, which is realized by Israeli director and, uh, and, and, and Azar Nafis's books was very strong, very, very 
um, it's a very symbolic movie for me. It's very important because it's showing to the whole world that um, no matter what's happening on earth, we are all together and, and art and cinema gathering us. So for me, it was very important. For me, I think, um, as Mina says, I think I didn't realize how important this movie is until I was in it. And I realized how not only is important, but how healing it is um, to find each other and uh, do this together as a manifesto of what we have lived together. It was the manifestation of those years of exile altogether, gathering around art, gathering around um, culture. It's funny, she has an incredible one woman um, show, theater, and in that she says, I live on stage, this is my home. The remember? stage, yes, is my home. And that's it, is that yes, um, our home is cinema is culture our home is each other our home is uh, gathering together around the table like in lolita that these girls they gather around lit literature and survive this is our home because our home we don't have it anymore it's the soil is gone we don't have this connection but we are the soil we are Iran, and it says in the movie that we left Iran, but Iran never left us and will never leave us. Um, and I must say that I realized the importance of uh, doing this project while I was in it, and especially after that, and especially now, after a year, year and a half after the shooting, that I'm back in Rome. And I realized that Rome has become Lolita in Tehran for me. Mm, yes. Rome is not Rome anymore. No. And I know Rome for so many years, but now when I come back to Rome, to the airport, is Lolita. Is Lolita yes. and Tehran. I am stepping into the world of Lolita in Tehran. And this is the impact and the importance of what we did together. As Mina Absolutely. said, it was one of the most strongest experiences of my entire professional life, I think. Being with the girls, being together, and celebrating um, our power together. And I would like to thank Oshita Farani and Mina Cavani, actresses in the Reading Lolita in Tehran, screening at the 19th edition of Rome Film Fest. And this is Chiara Nicoletti for Fred, the Festival Insider.